Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over some quick instructions on how to add suppression and thresholding to an intrusion rule using Snort 3 and the Cisco Secure Firewall. I'm starting off here at the dashboard. Now in Snort 2, if you're familiar with using the Secure Firewall, if you wanted to set up a suppression or a threshold on a Snort rule, you would do it over in the, under Policies intrusion. So let me just go there real quick. So you would go here and you would go and edit a policy. Now in Snort 3 there are actually two different policies starting in Firepower 7. You have a Snort 2 version and a Snort 3 version of the policy. If you want to set up thresholding or suppression and you're using a Snort 2 policy, that is Snort 2 on the device, then you still want to do that in the policy. So you still come here, you'll go and edit the Snort 2 version of the policy and set up the suppression or threshold. However, in Snort 3, that is now moved. It is not in the policy anymore. It is over on the objects menu. So you set suppressions and thresholds per rule, not per policy. So I'm going to go up here to objects, intrusion rules. And then we we'll click on the Snort 3 All Rules tab. So to suppress or threshold a rule, you do it here rather than in the intrusion policy. So I'm going to go ahead and search for the rule I want. And it's going to be ruled this rule, SID 54888. And I'm going to assume that this rule is triggering and I want to suppress it for a specific source or destination. So to do so, under Alert Configuration here, I have a little link. I'm going to click there. Right now it says None. If I click that, I get this little dialog about suppression and thresholding. So I'm going to click on the pencil here to edit the, those. So from this dialog here, this is where I can set up those suppressions or thresholds. So if I want to suppress by a source or destination network, I can just add that. Let's do by source. And then it'll give me a drop down here, and I can pick from any object I've created, a network object previously on the FMC. So that object that contains a network range has to either be already created or I have to go from here I'll go over and create it and come back here. So I have an object I've created here called Cisco DMZ. I'm going to select that, save it. So I can add that as a source. I can add another one or the same one for the destination if I want. And just to be clear, these work separately, right? All right so this is going to suppress the alerts for this rule anytime the source IP is listed here. Um, or anytime the destination IP is listed here. It's not both, it's not source and destination, it's either one. And that works the same way in Snort 2. Let me just also mention that if you're going to suppress, you want to make sure this is only, you're only suppressing alert rules or you're only suppressing in a passive environment. Because suppression, and this works the same in Snort 2, suppression only suppresses the output, that is the alerting of the rule. The rule will still drop if it's a drop rule, for instance, or a block rule in the case of Snort 3. It will still block the traffic but suppressing will just turn off the alerting for that rule. So that's usually a situation you don't want to be in. So we, def we generally don't suppress rules that are set to drop. Same thing for thresholding. Thresholding is set here on this tab, and the thresholding is the same as it was on Snort 2. There's no difference. Basically, you pick a type of threshold, that'd be a limit, a threshold, or a both. You pick a count in seconds, so let's say five and 30 seconds. And I'm not going to go into details on what each one of these is. It's in the help. But again, that's not changed between Snort 2 and Snort 3. It's just where you do it and, and the scope, really. The scope is now per rule, not, uh, not limited by the policy. So if I save those, you'll notice now I have a suppression and threshold listed for that rule 54888. And again, those suppressions and thresholds take effect regardless of where this rule is used in a policy. So wherever policies this rule is used, those suppressions and thresholds would exist. So that's the difference between Snort 2 and 3, and that's how to do a threshold or suppression with a Snort 3 policy starting in the Cisco Secure Firewall Release 7. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy snorting!